The immune system under physiological conditions modulates the duration and amplitude of its response, protecting the organism from collateral tissues damage. This modulation is mediated by special stop signals called immune checkpoints. Checkpoints are turned on when specific receptors on T cell membranes such as CTLA4 and PD-1 interact with their respective ligands. This interaction inhibits the activity of T cells and blocks the immune response. Instead, tumors escape from the control of the immune system and in many cases, immune checkpoints are hyperactivated. Indeed, most cancer cells express the ligands for PD-1. These ligands are called PD-L1 and 2. The interaction between that ligand and that receptor blocks the activity of T cells and consequently reduces immunosurveillance. Immune checkpoint inhibitors are special monoclonal antibodies able to inhibit the stop signals, thus restoring the anti-tumor activity of the immune system. In some cases, these drugs block CTLA-4 or PD-1 receptors on T cells. Indeed, they are antibodies properly designed to block the binding site for their ligands. Therefore, immunosurveillance is restored and cancer cells are recognized and killed by the immune system. Another strategy relies on the inhibition of PD-L1 and 2 ligands on cancer cells. These monoclonal antibodies counteract the interaction between PD-L1 and 2 and the relative receptors on T cells. This approach restores immunosurveillance as well. Immune checkpoint inhibitors are already used in the treatment of metastatic melanoma and of prostate cancer. Ongoing clinical trials are investigating their potential use in other types of tumors. The immune checkpoint inhibitors re-educate our immune system to fight against cancer and represent an important frontier of immunoprotection.